Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you a game played in Norway chess between Magnus Carlsen and Maxim Lagrave. This is the 8th round out of 9. It's a classical game and the time control is 2 hours for each player and a 10 seconds increment after move 40. Magnus has the white pieces and the game starts with d4, knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, d5, mvl plays the Grunfeld defense, for no one surprise of course. c takes d5, knight takes d5, the exchange variation, e4, asking white what he wants to do with that knight, black plays knight takes c3, followed by b takes c3, and black's plan in this position is to give the entire center to white and, lose the game. Just kidding. Black wants to strike on the center later on the game and push the queen's side pawns starting with c5 and supported by the dark square bishop, black plays bishop to g7, since white knows black wants to play c5, bishop to b5 check was played, provoking c6, which happened, bishop to a4, b5, the pawn storm starts, bishop back to b3, a5, knight to f3. Instead of knight to f3, white could have played a4, preventing a5, but this is all black wants because after b4, the white center pawns starts to become weak, so after knight to f3, black castles short, white also castles short, we then have a4, bishop back to c2, c5, black finally strikes on the center, white then plays rook to b1, attacking the pawn, followed by bishop to g4, pinning the knight to the queen, and ignoring the b-pawn. So, can white take the b5 pawn? Yes, but it's not that impressive because after rook takes b5, we would have c takes d4, c takes d4, knight to c6 and if d5, just knight to d4 and black is better. And if instead of e5, bishop takes a4, then we have, knight takes d4, rook to d5, attacking the queen, black's queen goes to b6, bishop to e3, pinning the knight, queen to a6, attacking the bishop, bishop takes d4, queen takes a4, queen takes a4, rook takes a4, bishop takes g7, king takes on g7, and after knight to d4 and rook takes a2, this position is a draw, obviously, back to the game we have, e5, knight to c6, and again, ignoring the b5 pawn, can black take this pawn now? No. If rook takes b5 now, black plays, c takes d4, c takes d4, bishop takes f3, and white has to play g takes f3, weakening the king, because if queen takes f3, there is, knight takes d4, forking the queen and the rook, and black is winning, so, bishop to e4 was played, attacking the knight, black responds with rook to c8, defending, h3, bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, with a double attack on the knight, queen to d7, defending the knight, now, Magnus, will obvious see the best move here, right? No. Best was bishop takes c6, rook takes c6, d5, rook to b6, rook to e1, giving white a slight advantage with this two beautiful center pawns obviously, but instead he decided to play this very suspicious move, bishop to d3, so white responded with, c takes d4, bishop takes b5, d takes c3, queen takes c3, queen to d5, attacking both pawns, Magnus got greedy and played bishop to a4 immediately, not good, best would be, bishop to e3, not allowing the black's queen to take the a2 pawn, because the knight would be hanging, anyway, after bishop takes a4, black plays queen takes a2, now the bishop can't take on c6, because the rook on a1 is hanging, so white played rook to a1, very suspicious, knight takes e5 with a discovery attack on the white's lady, rook takes a2, rook takes c3, and black is down a pawn for no reason. White then played bishop to d2, rook from c goes all the way back to c8, b6, 
bishop b5, rook to c5, bishop back to e2, knight to c6, still theory, rook to c1, white wants to trade rooks and prey, black accepts it and play rook takes c1 check, bishop takes c1, rook to b8, bishop to e3, bishop to d4, black wants to trade bishops and win the game, black refuses and plays, bishop to h6, thank god, followed by bishop to g7, bishop to e3 again, of course white will repeat moves with this terrible position, black plays h5, g3, e6, king to g2, knight to b4, attacking the rook, rook to d2, knight to d5, attacking the bishop, rook to d3, knight takes c3 check, rook takes c3, bishop to d4, black is trying to make progress, but this position is very hard to win if your name is not stockfish, ha ha ha, rook to d3, e5, rook to d2, king goes to g7, white plays h4, white is trying to build a fortress, king goes to h6, black wants to play g5, f4 was played, not allowing it, even though he should have, obviously, and black now finds, bishop to e3, I'm impressed, great move, white plays rook to d7, attacking the pawn, followed by e takes f4, g takes f4, f5, king to f3, bishop to c1, still theory, bishop to c4, rook to c8, attacking the bishop, bishop to f7, maybe trying to win the g6 pawn, of course that doesn't work, black plays rook to c3 check, and white has two legal moves, one loses on the spot, and the other doesn't, since Magnus Carlsen is the best end game player of all time, he will of course play the very obvious, king to e2, and Magnus played king g2 and is now completely lost, oh man, is this really the best end game player of all time, am I a joke to you, just kidding, anyway, black plays, bishop takes f4, followed, by bishop to g8, g5, let's not blunder checkmate, it's never too late to lose, white plays bishop to e6, and since black wants to win the game he will play g takes h4, right? No. Instead of playing the winning move he decided to draw the game and played king to g5, question mark. Question mark, is he a paid actor? How he didn't this obvious winning line that starts with, bishop takes f5, h3 check, white can't play bishop takes h3, because of rook to g3, if king to 2 h2, we have a discovery check winning the rook, and if king to any other square, there is a free bishop on h3. So white should play king to f2, that's why king to e2 was better back then, obviously, and the game would continued with, king to g5, rook to d5, bishop to g3 check, king goes to e2, h2, bishop to d7 check, king to f4, rook takes h5, rook to c7 and black will have to sacrifice the rook for the pawn so black is dead lost. Very easy line, back to the game, since black wants to draw the game and king g6 was played, white plays rook to d5, g4, bishop takes f5 check, king goes to f6, bishop to h7, bishop to e5, bishop to g6, g3, rook to a5, rook to c4, attacking the pawn, rook a6 check, king to g7, now the king is cut off, bishop takes h5, rook takes h4, rook to g6 check, king goes to h7, rook g5, rook h2 check, and now white has three legal moves, of course the best endgame player won't play to losing move again, right? Wrong. Queen to f3, question mark. Question mark. White now is completely lost and black plays rook to f2 check, king to g4, bishop to f4, rook to g6, and since black doesn't want to win the game, I think he won't play, bishop to c7, right? Right. Bishop to c7 wins, of course, 
with king to h4, rook to h2 check, king goes to g5, g2, king to f6 and after bishop to b6, white will have to sacrifice the rook for the pawn, so white is completely lost. Black played, rook to f1, question mark. Question mark. White plays king to f5, only move, followed by bishop to g5 check, king to e4, rook to f4 check, king to d3, rook to f5, king to e4, rook to f4 check again, king to d3 again, always repeat. Bishop to h4, rook to e6, g2, rook to g6 and after rook to f5, rook takes g2, and rook takes h5, this is an hour well known dead draw. The players played a few more moves, but in the end, they agreed to a draw. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button. If you have any game suggestion, put it in the comments and I will analyze it. Or not. See you later.